NGC 48889 is a giant elliptical galaxy located in the direction of the constellation Coma Berenice. This galaxy is one of the most massive known, with a rich history of observations and studies. Discovered by William Herschel on April 11, 1785, NGC 4889 is a prime example of the immense structures that populate our universe. As an elliptical galaxy, it differs significantly from spiral galaxies like the Milky Way, lacking the prominent arms and instead displaying a more uniform, elongated shape. NGC 4889's central region is densely packed with stars, contributing to its bright, glowing appearance. Astronomers have found that elliptical galaxies like NGC 4889 often reside in the densest regions of the universe, such as galaxy clusters, and NGC 489 is no exception. The sheer size and mass of NGC 4889 make it an important object of study for understanding the formation and evolution of galaxies. Its massive halo and the presence of numerous globular clusters offer clues about the history of galaxy mergers and interactions. Let's see the galaxy up close. Now each bright point is a star. In our galaxy, there are hundreds of billions of them. Now, each bright point is an entire galaxy. Each galaxy contains millions, billions, or trillions of stars. The galaxy NGC 4889 is located 350 million light years away from our planet. This means that light takes 350 million years to travel this distance. NGC 4889 is one of the largest galaxies in the Coma Cluster, a cluster of galaxies that includes over 1,000 galaxies. Because it is relatively close and very large, NGC 4889 has become a reference for studying the dynamics and evolution of other elliptical galaxies in the more distant universe. There are several galaxies around it. Some are a few hundred light years across, while others are much larger than the Milky Way. NGC 48889 is more than 10 times larger than the Milky Way. 
It is one of the largest known galaxies, with a diameter that reaches 1.3 million light years and an immense stellar halo. There are three basic types of galaxies in the universe. Spiral galaxies, like the Milky Way, irregular galaxies, like the Magellanic Clouds, and elliptical galaxies, like NGC 4889. Galaxies are made of dust, gas, and stars, which rotate around the galactic center. When viewed from the side, they resemble a disk. Irregular galaxies are small and disordered, without a defined shape. This type of galaxy has many newly born stars due to the intense activity of gases. Elliptical galaxies like NGC 4889 are usually distributed almost equally across the three dimensions of space, in a spherical or ellipsoidal shape. Elliptical galaxies are the result of the complex merger of two or more galaxies. NGC 4889 is quite rare, formed by a collection of multiple galaxies. Another three are about to be absorbed. Now each bright point is a star. Each star is like a sun. NGC 4889 has approximately 10 trillion stars compared to the Milky Way, which has about 400 billion stars. In our galaxy, there are on average two planets for every star. If the occurrence of planets in NGC 4089 is similar, there could be around 20 trillion planets orbiting the stars of the galaxy. The stars in spiral galaxies like the Milky Way have organized orbits around the galactic center. In elliptical galaxies, the stars' orbits follow random trajectories. Blue stars are hotter and younger, while yellow stars are cooler and older. There are few gas clouds and little star formation in elliptical galaxies. Almost all the stars are ancient travelers of the universe, which is why elliptical galaxies usually display yellowish or reddish colors. Keeping various small galaxies around it, the gravity of the giant galaxy is so intense that it maintains more than 15,000 globular clusters of stars. Globular clusters are spherical collections of stars orbiting the same gravitational center. Each globular cluster can house hundreds of thousands of stars. If there is a technological civilization with a super telescope pointed in our direction, they would be receiving the light that left Earth 350 million years ago.
350 million years ago. Earth was at the end of the Devonian period and the beginning of the Carboniferous period. The Devonian period is characterized by the development of many aquatic species and the predominance of marine life. The period is also known as the Age of Fishes. During the Devonian period, many of the oil and natural gas deposits we use today were also formed. During the Carboniferous period, reptiles, arthropods, and insects reigned. It was also the time when large forests emerged. With the help of these forests, the oxygen level rose 15% higher than today. With more oxygen, arthropods like scorpions, spiders, and centipedes became giants. Potential inhabitants of the galaxy NGC 4889 will receive the light from our present 350 million years from now. At the center of the galaxy, there is a supermassive black hole, which is the largest type of black hole that exists. The black hole in NGC 4889 is one of the largest known. It has 20 billion times the mass of the Sun, 5,000 times more massive than the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. The black hole is not directly visible. Its brilliance comes from the enormous amount of matter spinning around it in the form of a giant accretion disk that spans at least 3.1 trillion miles. Its event horizon, the region from which nothing escapes its gravity, not even light, extends for 74.6 billion miles, 10 times the distance of Pluto's orbit. The black hole in NGC 4889 is also known as a sleeping giant because it has already absorbed most of the available matter in its vicinity. Various stars still orbit within the black hole's gravity in extremely fast and dangerous journeys. The universe is fascinating. It's like magic, but real. We observe the past of magnificent celestial bodies, spectacular events, stars, and planets that likely no longer exist. If you enjoyed the trip, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more space travel. Leave in the comments which place in the universe you would like to explore in the next videos. And if you want to support our work, check out the pinned comment. Every contribution helps keep our ship moving. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next Star Trip.